Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a song request by Suzanne Vega and uh, I wanted to welcome back Michael. Thank you so much for um, sponsoring this video, for choosing this artist and we've heard some Susan Vega. Uh, I've done some stuff by myself in marathons but we've also reacted to uh i think it was luca alexia and i and uh we didn't pay too much attention to the lyrics for some reason you know we tend to do that and um yeah that was kind of like a mistake because it was very you know very sad lyrics and we were kind of like all cheery and stuff and people got the wrong message so it happens you know so i'm gonna pay uh closer attention to this uh, just because I know her music is very lyric heavy, you know, and um, so let's see, let's see what, what's what's going on in this one. So we're gonna do um, "Solitude Standing" the song, and this is from her very famous album um, that actually, you know, uh, has Tom's Diner and Luca and and songs like that, you know. So uh, we're talking about the album. Susan Vega, self-titled, um, I'm sorry, uh, Solitude Standing, the album, and we're going to do the song. We're going to do the title track, and this came out in 1987. Uh, also, some words here from Michael that um, uh, pretty much what I said, uh, it says here, um, Hey Nick, how's it going? I'm ba going back to Susan uh, Vega, who's best known for Luca and Tom's Diner. I also sent you her early i also sent you her early song marlena on the wall and you've done other songs by her that others have sent exactly in marathons and stuff uh, this one goes back to 1987 and is the title track to her second album oh i thought this was the first one uh to her second album solitude standing which also includes luca and then this is the good news she just released a new song with a forthcoming album and is touring so everybody attention uh if you want to see her live that this is the chance so she uh so she's still going strong enjoy and then of course um hope you and lex are doing well thank you so much thank I, I appreciate it michael thank you so much i do did want to read you know some info here so yeah here we go with susan vega and i've always loved her um you know the i mean what we've heard so far which is not that much but um i like her style you know um something about it so here we go with solitude standing and um let me just pull up the lyrics and here we go enjoy if you're new to the channel please do subscribe um we only have 20 percent of all listeners subscribed so if you can do us a favor check if you're still subscribed if you're not please do subscribe to the channel Leave a like, leave a dislike if you don't like the video. And if you would like to leave a comment, that's awesome. So here we go. Okay. Solitude stands by the window She turns her head as I walk in the room I can see by her eyes she's been waiting Standing on the slant of the late afternoon And she turns to me with her hand extended Her palm is split with a flower with a flame again by her black silhouette by her long cool stare and her silence I suddenly remember each time we've met and she turns to me with her hand extended her palm is split with a flower with a I've come to set a twisted thing straight 
Very good. Okay, let's let me pause before. Okay, so I still have the ly lyrics pulled up. So no, I'm not really like into analyzing lyrics because I don't know. You know, I just don't really think that much about them. But uh, this is very interesting because the solitude. You know, it could be about um. Just a second. Let's talk about the music. I love the music. I love the bass. I love that keyboard, that that run. Um, I was actually looking at the guitar. I was like, ah, maybe I should try and play, but I don't want to bore you with that. Um, it, it, I really love the drums, the heavy drums, the bass, the 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 keyboard, and just the way that Susan Vega delivers her. It's almost like I love her style because it's so like. Da, 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 da. It's very dry, but that's her style. And I really enjoy that because she could be like, I don't know. She could be doing all like kinds of scales and, you know, falsettos. And it's just, that's her style. And it's very original because also when she does the da, 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 you know, that song, it's very dry, the delivery of her singing. And very unique, you know, it's a very unique style. Like there are just singers that are just a specific way. And um, and you get really into that style, like Bjork, for example. She does like, Bjork does like things with her voice that she kind of like goes into very bizarre scales. It's almost like she sings out of tune on purpose and stuff like that. I really enjoy that because it's, first of all, it's very hard to do. And it's just very, very unique, you know, and uh, all that stuff. But um, so the song, I mean, it's very catchy. It's very, I don't know. It's it's one of those songs that you could just have on repeat. It does it would not bore you because the beat is catchy. There's hooks in there. Um, but I think she's singing. So I think, you know, uh, about solitude stands by the window. So it's basically she's dealing with. Uh, solitude, but there's like basically a little bit of a twist there because, um, so obviously dealing with solitude can be very, um, well, it can be very, I don't want to say negative because sometimes when you're, um, when you're by yourself, you can become very creative. Uh, I've gotten, uh, I've enjoyed, I've been like alone, like sometimes when Alexa, for example, leaves a couple of days, um, I stay, you know, by myself and I get very creative and I do all kinds of things. And so it can either hit you in a very bad way that because you're alone, if you're too much alone, people, us human beings were not designed to be alone or live alone. You know, that's why, why we have a partner or we get married or we have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever. We are people. We need, you know, someone. Um, so basically, 
So first it says like, so she's dealing with this loneliness, but it says here, um, her palm is split with a flower and a flame. The flower is the positivity and the flame is almost like, well, you can burn yourself. Right. So, and it's basically like she's dealing with the accepting, I think the loneliness, um, uh, the solitude you know but it also says but she's kind of like going through the no the 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 motions i've come to lighten this dark heart so you accept the 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 solitude and you, you turn into something positive you know um and also there was a mention of fear and uh for example i've suffered throughout my life you know some fear you know everybody i think experiences fear now and then, you know, it's just something frightening or something that you're uncomfortable with. Anxiety, for example, stage fright. I used to be very uh, frightened to, you know, perform in high school uh, in front of the class. And then when I got to play music at the beginning, it was like that. It was horrible. I had unbelievable stage fright. And then it just, you know, so what I, what I saw here uh, when when it says here, uh, they're sitting all together in the dark, in the warm, and I wanted to be there among them, you know, instead of on the stage. I see how their eyes are gathered into one. Um, I think that's almost talking about because, and I turn to the crowd as they're watching. It almost sounds like this is like stage fright, talking about stage fright and overcoming that stage fright. Or maybe... It's like, I don't want to be up here. I'd rather be be down there with them because they're all looking at me. Like, they're all staring at me at once. That's what I hated, um, especially when you're alone, when you're a, a performer. Um, I think that's that must be pretty hard if you do play, like, acoustic guitar and everybody's watching just you, not, not the band. Uh, when I was in a band, I always had someone kind of like, oh, they're going to look at the... The, the the singer or i don't know i would always kind of be i don't know and then i got very comfortable with it and i i i didn't mind but yeah i mean it could you know that's what i think i'm taking from it i want to take of course the positivity of the song of overcoming solitude and accepting it and working with it and doing the most positive thing with it and also anxiety you know uh Yes, I've suffered from anxiety. Uh, I, I think a lot of people suffer from anxiety. Some people don't. Um, but I've met some people that just, you know, are anxious and they're just have anxiety. And I, since I've suffered from that as well, I kind of know how to work with someone who is like, for example, if someone has a have, having a panic attack, I know exactly what to do, what not to say, not to make it worse and how to comfort that person, because I've dealt with it myself. Unfortunately, it's just something that kind of like started, you know, uh, from out of nothing, you know. So, um, unfortunately, uh, it is a thing, you know. It is a thing. A lot of people, um, uh, you know, fight this on a daily basis. And I just, I can only tell you, it's not very easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful song. It can be interpreted, of course, as many other things, but I think I'm, uh, maybe, you know, I want to, I want to, I think I have something going here, but I could be completely wrong because again, sometimes you ask even the composers, the authors, the, the writers of the song, what does this song mean? I don't know. I think it just sounded good, you know, but I, I'm sure this is not the case. I know there's a deeper meaning, but I'm not as good. I've never really tried to analyze lyrics. So, this is like literally my first attempt. I wanted to because when we listened to Luca, we kind of messed up completely. And uh, kind of like in the middle, like throughout the middle of the song, I was like, wait a minute, is there something going on there? With And then it was already too late. We already had been like clapping and dancing and people were not very happy. Uh, so I have something here in my cheek. <laughs> um, but yeah, beautiful. Like Susan Vega... What do you think? Have you heard this? Uh, if you did, when? Uh, are you going to see her live? Are you going to make that that extra effort? If she comes through your city or town um, or country, are you going to go see her? I definitely would. I am definitely uh, will. 
And um, yeah. And again, thank you so much, Mike, for choosing this song. Very, very cool and catchy tune. Great lyrics. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All your support, everyone. Thank you for your for your uh, comments, for the likes, for watching the, the content. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>